Matrices. A two by two matrix over R is a rectangular array with two rows and two columns and entries that are real numbers. Let's look at some examples. Each of the following is a two by two matrix over R. The matrix one, three, seven, five. The matrix root two, negative three, five point three, zero. The matrix zero, which is equal to the matrix zero, 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 zero. This is known as the two by two zero matrix. The matrix I equals the matrix one, zero, zero, one. One's down the main diagonal, zeros everywhere else. This is known as the two by two identity matrix. Let M equal the set of matrices A, B, C, D, where A, B, C, and D are real numbers, be the set of all two by two matrices over R. We add two such matrices using the rule matrix A, B, C, D plus matrix E, F, G, H equals matrix A plus E, B plus F, C plus G, D plus H. We multiply a matrix by a real number using the rule K times the matrix A, B, C, D equals the matrix K, A, K, B, K, C, K, D. This type of multiplication is called scalar multiplication. Let's look at some examples. Let A be the matrix 1, 3, 7, 5, and let B be the matrix 2, 0, 1, 1. We have the following. A plus B is equal to the matrix 1, 3, 7, 5 plus the matrix 2, 0, 1, 1. We add entry by entry to get the matrix 1 plus 2, 3 plus 0, 7 plus 1, 5 plus 1. And that's equal to the matrix 3, 3, 8, 6. The matrix A plus the zero matrix is equal to the matrix 1, 3, 7, 5 plus the matrix 0, 0, 0, 0, which is equal to the matrix 1 plus 0, 3 plus 0, 7 plus 0, 5 plus 0. And that simplifies to the matrix 1, 3, 7, 5. Some more examples. The matrix 2A is equal to 2 times the matrix 1, 3, 7, 5 which is the matrix two times one, two times three, two times seven, two times five. And that simplifies to the matrix two, six, 14, 10. The matrix three B, that's equal to three times the matrix two, zero, one, one, which is the matrix three times two, three times zero, three times one, three times one, which simplifies to the matrix six, zero, three, three. 2A plus 3B is equal to 2 times the matrix 1, 3, 7, 5 plus 3 times the matrix 2, 0, 1, 1. We saw in the previous two examples that this is equal to 2, 6, 14, 10 plus 6, 0, 3, 3. And adding entry by entry, we get 2 plus 6, 6 plus 0, 14 plus 3, 10 plus 3. And finally, that's the matrix 8, 6, 17, 13. Let's try an exercise. Let A be equal to the matrix negative two, zero, negative seven, one, and let B be equal to the matrix three, negative one, five, five. Compute each of the following. Now's a good time to pause this video, try this exercise yourself, and then resume the video to check your answers against mine. Okay, so A plus B is equal to the matrix one, negative one, negative two, six. 0 plus b is equal to the matrix 3, negative 1, 5, 5. 5a is equal to the matrix negative 10, 0, negative 35, 5. And 5a plus 2b is equal to the matrix negative 4, negative 2, negative 25, 15. Now more generally, for m and n positive integers, an M by N matrix over a field F is a rectangular array with M rows and N columns and entries in F. 
we will say that the size of the matrix is M by N, or we may refer to M by N as the dimensions of the matrix. Let's look at an example. The matrix H equals matrix I, two minus five I, one fifth, negative one root three, seven plus I, is a two by three matrix. Notice it has two rows and three columns. And it's a two by three matrix over C, over the field of complex numbers. Notice that the first number in the size of the matrix, two in this example, indicates that the matrix has two rows. While the second number in the size of the matrix, three in this example, indicates that the matrix has three columns. Let's try another exercise. Each of the following is an M by N matrix over a field F. Determine M, N, and F. Note that there may be more than one possible answer for F. Okay, now's a good time to pause this video, try this exercise yourself, then resume the video to check your answers against mine. Okay, A equals the matrix one, two, three, four. M is two, N is two, and F could be the field of rationals, the field of reals, or the field of complexes. B equals matrix root two, root three, two, root five, root six, root seven. M is two and N is three. And the field F could be the field of real numbers or the field of complex numbers. C equals the column matrix one I negative I negative one. M is four and N is one. And F is C, the field of complex numbers. D equals the row matrix one, two, three, root five. M is one and N is four. And F could be the field of real numbers or the field of complex numbers. E equals the matrix one, zero, one, zero, two, negative three, zero, 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 five, zero, negative two. M is three and N is four. And F could be the field of rationals, reals, or complexes. We will generally use a capital letter to represent a matrix, as we have been doing, and the corresponding lowercase letter with double subscripts to represent the entries of the matrix. We use the first subscript for the row and the second subscript for the column. Let's look at an example. Remember the matrix H, which is the matrix consisting of I, two minus five I, one fifth, negative one root three, seven plus I. This is a two by three matrix over C, the field of complex numbers. We have the following. H11 is equal to I. H12 is two minus five I. H13 is one fifth. H21 is negative one. H22 is the square root of three. H23 is equal to seven plus I. Let's try an exercise. Let X be equal to the matrix one, nine, one, eight, seven, negative one, three, four, two, five, zero, negative six. Determine each of the following if it exists. Go ahead and pause the video. Do this exercise yourself and then resume the video to check your answers against mine. X sub two, three is equal to three. X sub three, two is equal to five. X sub three, four is equal to negative six. X sub four, three does not exist. The matrix does not have four rows. X three, three is equal to zero. X two, four is equal to four. X four, two does not exist. Once again, the matrix does not have four rows. What is the size of the matrix X? Oh, well, it has three rows and four columns, so it's a three by four matrix. If A and B are M by N matrices over a field F, then we get the matrix A plus B by adding each entry of A to the corresponding entry of B. Note that we can add two matrices only if they have the same size. Let's look at some examples. If A is a two by three matrix and B is a three by two matrix, then A plus B is undefined. The matrix three, five, one, two, zero, four, plus the matrix two, one, five, seven, three, zero is equal to the matrix five, six, six, nine, three, four. Notice how we added entry by entry. 
the column matrix one I negative I negative one plus the column matrix I one one plus two I two plus I is equal to the matrix one plus I one plus I one plus I one plus I. The matrix two one five seven three zero plus the matrix one two three four is undefined because the two matrices have different sizes. If A is an M by N matrix and K is in the field F, then we get the matrix KA by multiplying each entry of A by the scalar K. Let's look at some examples. Two times the matrix three, five, one, two, zero, four is the matrix six, 10, two, four, zero, eight. Notice how we multiplied each entry of the matrix by two. Three times the column matrix, one I negative I negative one is equal to the column matrix three, three I negative three I negative three. Three times the matrix one zero one zero two negative three zero 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 five zero negative two plus two times the matrix three seven zero four five negative one seven negative three one two one six is equal to the matrix three zero three zero six negative nine zero 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 fifteen zero negative six plus the matrix six fourteen zero eight ten negative two fourteen negative six two four two twelve which when we add entry by entry, we get the matrix 9, 14, 3, 8, 16, negative 11, 14, negative 6, 2, 19, 2, 6. We will now define the product of an M by N matrix with an N by P matrix where M, N, and P are positive integers. Note that if A and B are matrices, then to take the product AB, we first insist that the number of columns of A be equal to the number of rows of B. These are the inner two numbers in the expressions M by N and N by P. So how do we actually multiply two matrices? This is a bit complicated and requires just a little practice. Let's walk through an example while informally describing the procedure so that we can get a feel for how matrix multiplication works. Let A be the matrix 0, 1, 3, 2, and B the matrix 1, 2, 0, 0, 3, 6. Notice that A is a 2 by 2 matrix and B is a 2 by 3 matrix. Since A has two columns and B has two rows, we will be able to multiply the two matrices. For each row of the first matrix and each column of the second matrix, we add up the products entry by entry. Let's compute the product AB as an example. So AB is equal to the matrix 0, 1, 3, 2 times the matrix 1, 2, 0, 0, 3, 6. And the answer is going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. We'll label the entries as X, Y, Z, U, V, W. Since X is in the first row and first column, we use the first row of A and the first column of B to get X equals the row 0, 1 times the column 1, 0, which is equal to 0 times 1 plus 1 times 0 equals 0 plus 0 equals 0. Since U is in the second row and first column, we use the second row of A and the first column of B to get u equals the row 3, 2 times the column 1, 0 equals 3 times 1 plus 2 times 0 equals 3. You should now pause the video and follow this procedure to compute the values of the remaining entries. The final product is AB equals the matrix 0, 3, 6, 3, 12, 12. Notes. One, the product of a two by two matrix and a two by three matrix is a two by three matrix. More generally, the product of an M by N matrix and an N by P matrix is an M by P matrix. Observe that the innermost numbers, both N, must agree and the resulting product has dimensions given by the outermost numbers, M and P. 
let's look at some examples. The row matrix one, two, three, four times the column matrix five, one, negative two, three is equal to the matrix one times five plus two times one plus three times negative two plus four times three, which is the matrix five plus two minus six plus 12, which is the matrix just consisting of the number 13. We generally identify a one by one matrix with its only entry. So the row matrix one, two, three, four times the column matrix five, one, negative two, three is simply equal to 13. Let's multiply the other way. The column matrix five, one, negative two, three times the row matrix one, two, three, four. This is equal to the matrix 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, 3, 6, 9, 12. If you don't see this right away, you might want to pause the video and do these computations carefully yourself to make sure you understand how the multiplication is working. Notice that when we multiply the two matrices in different orders, they're not equal. And in fact, the two products do not even have the same size. This shows that if A, B, and B, A are both defined, then they do not need to be equal. Another example, the matrix one, two, zero, one times the matrix zero, two, three, two is equal to the matrix zero plus six, two plus four, zero plus three, zero plus two, which is the matrix six, six, three, two. Multiplying the other way, the matrix zero, two, three, two times the matrix one, two, zero, one is equal to the matrix zero plus zero, zero plus two, three plus zero, six plus two, which is the matrix zero, two, three, eight. Notice that doing the product in the two different orders gave us different answers. So these two products are not equal to each other. This shows that even if A and B are square matrices of the same size, in general, AB is not equal to BA. So matrix multiplication is not commutative. Let's try another exercise. Compute the following matrix products. Okay, now's a good time to pause the video, try this exercise yourself, then resume the video to check your answers against mine. Okay, the row matrix one, three, four, zero times the column matrix two, one, three, nine is equal to the matrix one times two plus three times one plus four times three plus zero times nine, which is the matrix two plus three plus 12 plus zero, which is the matrix consisting just of the number 17, which we abbreviate as the number 17. The column matrix two, one, three, nine times the row matrix one, three, four, zero is equal to the matrix two, six, eight, zero, one, three, four, zero, three, nine, 12, zero, nine, 27, 36, zero. The matrix one, two, three, four times the matrix five, six, zero, one is the matrix five plus zero, six plus two, 15 plus zero, 18 plus four, which simplifies to the matrix five, eight, 15, 22. And the matrix five, six, zero, one times the matrix one, two, three, four is the matrix five plus 18, 10 plus 24, zero plus three, zero plus four, which simplifies to the matrix 23, 34, three, four.